Hello from ChemHelp ASAP. Sometimes reported pharmacokinetic parameters don't appear as you might expect. Let's see two examples in CL over F, MVD over F. During lead optimization, molecules will be tested in animals. Some of the tests will focus on pharmacokinetics of the lead through both IV and oral doses. The collected data allow the determination of all the pharmacokinetic parameters for the molecule. KEL, half-life, clearance, volume of distribution, and oral bioavailability. Or at least one can determine all the pharmacokinetic parameters in that species of animal. These parameters will be different in humans. Well, that's okay. If the lead advances, then we'll test the molecule in humans and determine all the PK parameters in humans, right? Well, maybe not. If the molecule is intended as an oral drug, it's very possible, even likely, that the drug company will only test the lead, now an investigational new drug, an IND, through oral dosing. This isn't a big problem. With oral CP time data, one can still determine KEL and half-life. How about clearance, volume of distribution, and bioavailability? No, no, and no. Here's the issue. Look at our equation for clearance. It's in the upper right. We need the dose and the AUC. Getting AUC from an oral dose curve is not a problem. Surprisingly, the dose is the problem. We might know the dose that was administered to the test subject, but we cannot be certain how much of the dose actually made it to the plasma to contribute to the AUC calculation. The absorbed dose would be dose times F, bioavailability. We can't determine F because we don't have IV bolus data to compare to the oral data to test oral versus IV exposure. This is an issue. What can we do? Well, we can go ahead and calculate clearance while including F as an unknown. Instead of solving for CL, we'll solve for CL over F. I personally find this very unsatisfactory, but it's all that can be done. When we report the clearance of this IND, we report CL over F. How about volume of distribution? It's the same problem. We do know half-life from KEL, but we have to use CL over F in our equation. That means the VD that we calculate will be VD over F. Note that by including F on both sides of the equation, we haven't changed the balance of the equation. So, since that's the best we can do, we'll report VD over F. This problem is actually not a big problem. It's very common to look up a drug's clearance or volume of distribution and instead find CL over F or VD over F. These parameters mean that the drug company never performed IV dosing of the drug and instead went directly to oral dosing in humans. If a company is not seeking approval for IV dosing, then that's fine. Sometimes, at a later date, the company or another laboratory might perform follow-up studies with IV bolus dosing and determine oral bioavailability. At that time, the CL over F and VD over F values can be replaced with proper CL and VD values. I hope you enjoyed this answer to some of the mysteries of pharmacokinetic parameters. Please subscribe, like, or leave a comment. Take care.